I've got it. Good morning, Commissioner. Mrs. Scorpio. Oh, I am so glad to meet you. Uh, well, uh, who might you be? I'm Florence, from Florence's Tots and Teens. Of course you are. I was wondering if I might have a few minutes to speak with Mrs. Scorpio. Uh, why not? Come in. Thank you. I'll get right to the point. I heard that you bought a darling antique baby crib from a store near mine. Yes? Well, news about the commissioner's wife travels fast. I don't have to tell you that. I wanted to bring you a present for your new baby. Isn't it beautiful? Crocheted entirely by hand. All of our things are made by hand. Well, we have the finest selection of baby apparel and accessories in Port Charles. I'd like to personally invite you to visit our store. Oh, dear, how dare you! I beg your pardon? Get out and take your horrid blanket with you! Well, uh, I'm so sorry. No, 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 I didn't no, mean to no. say it. I am. Please accept my apology. You had no way of knowing this, but we lost the child. Oh. Oh, no. I... Well, I, 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 I didn't know. I, right. I couldn't have. I certainly course, wouldn't have come really. here. I'm so sorry. Please right. tell Mrs. Scorpio that... Believe me, I will. It's okay. What's the matter with you? Me? Yes. Can you believe her? Go worming her way into our house, trying to make money off... Off of what? How was the poor woman to know that you'd lost the baby? It was... It was tasteless. No, 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 no. But your behavior certainly was. You were cruel and rude to lash out at her that way. It was totally uncalled for. What's happening to you? Look, you're falling apart. I... Oh, what a great legacy Luke's left on this earth. A woman, no matter how many times you get pushed around or put down, or no matter what, a woman can't do anything else except feel sorry for herself. I am not! No, come and have a look then. Come on. Take a good, long look. Now, what does that look like to you? The image of a person who's looking after themselves? Well, it certainly isn't mine. Go and clean yourself up and put on some decent clothes for once. Why do you care what I do? What do I care what you do? I'll tell you why I care what you do. I'm stuck with you, sweet cakes, for one whole year. And I'll be damned if I'm going to come home every night and see this mess for the next 12 months. Heaven help you if Luke could see you now. No, stop it! Do you really think that he wants you slobbering and blubbering after him? You know, this guy only had one, one rule. But it was one of the best. No matter what happens to you, or who you lose, when you get thrown off that horse, you jump right back on again and you ride it for all it's worth. You don't flounder around in the dirt and say, oh, how unfair the rodeo is. I know that, but how does that help me? It helps you because he taught us all to love life, to enjoy ourselves. That is, with one exception, it appears, you. You know, I find this ironic. So ironic. That the one woman on this earth that he truly loved is doing the very least to live up to his memory. General, you can get me there if you need to. Thank you. 
Robert? Well, look, I'm busy at the moment, and besides, I would just as soon not talk to you. It's too bloody depressing. Perhaps, maybe some other time, when you're not feeling quite so sorry for yourself. So that would be about now. I just wanted to stop by to tell you I'm on my way out. I don't want to be late. And thanks. The screaming at you? Well, it was, wouldn't you say? Oh, gloriously. It's just what I needed. Thank you for understanding and doing something about it. Well, you did all the work. I just uh, lit the fire. Now, this is the woman that Luke loved. No, it's a new one. It's one that nobody has ever seen before, and an interesting one, too, I hope, and one I intend to enjoy. You're off to a great start. Well, let's see what Bobby and Ruby have to say about that. I'm meeting them at Kelly's. What are you going to do? Well, I thought I might apply a little more pressure to the Quartermains. Sooner or later, the one that killed Susan's going to crack, and I feel it's my duty to be there to pick up the pieces. Uh... 